We need a bigger move. Some shit we can grow into. You help me. I'll help you with my mom. I want you to tell me the truth, Kanan. Did you know that D was shot Buck? Please don't tell my dad. Every cop and criminal in this city knows that Malcolm Howard holds a down. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Mark Dark, and I'm back with another video. If you're new, if you love power, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, like the video, and leave your theories, comments, everything down below. Now, today, we're going to be talking about Power Book 3, Raising Canaan, Episode 3. This is the final predictions. So down below, I want you guys to let me know, after going over all the storylines, the theories, videos, I want you guys to let me know exactly what are your final predictions for this episode. I will be explaining my final predictions for this episode as well make sure you check out my last video about power book 2 ghost of course it was some exclusive clips or not clips but pictures of monet and zeke and mecca check that video out if you have not seen it now the title of this episode is called stick and move and the description for the episode reads still reeling from a shocking death kanan pushes his way in the drug game with marvin's help while rock plots to take down her competition so those are going to be key elements in this episode. Um, we're definitely going to talk about it, man. It's about to be very, very interesting in my opinion. Now, my final predictions for Jukebox and Kanan is this. They're both going to go on their own personal journeys. Jukebox is going to be doing her own thing, hitting licks. And we're going to talk about that in this video. Your boy Kanan, on the other hand, he's going to be trying to hook up with Uncle Marvin, trying to get him in the game right and trying to get closer to getting his hands on that green but trust me it's gonna be very interesting to see how those two connect and bond uncle marvin and kanan will definitely get closer in this episode now rock and lulu these two together man it's like magic they're gonna be taking down the competition that is my final prediction setting up new ways to get money but at the same time doing things that make the competition upset and you already know how they gonna move y'all seen how ruthless lulu can be he will get the job done when he needs to get the job done. I got a feeling by the end of this episode, the competition is going to be very, very upset. Trust me. Um, and of course, we know your boy Unique. He's probably not going to be the happiest since he is Rock's competition. And of course, they kind of squashed what was going on between the whole um, Buck 20 thing. That's still going to be an issue, I believe, because this, the two still want to go at it with each other as far as this business. Now, Kanan, my final predictions for him is the bond between him and Uncle Marvin is going to grow because these two have something in common. They always being left out. Um, Rock doesn't want her son involved in all this. She's trying to keep him at a certain level while Kanan wants to move up. I believe Kanan is going to give Uncle Marvin some advice where he can work something out with Unique, but... For some odd reason, I don't think Unique is going to have the best episode. I just don't think that's going to happen in this episode at all. Um, we know that Uncle Marvin, he wants to run things. They don't listen to anything that he does. So when Kanan tells him, look, I can help you out, you know, Marvin's going to take it. He's going to be like, all right, young blood, let's see what you can do. You know, I'll take your advice. I'll see if you got any, you know, knowledge, any game to help me out as far as running what I want to run so we're going to see it's probably going to hopefully help him get closer with his sister but then again they don't really show Marvin no type of respect when it comes to making decisions now we know Divina will continue to try to get the truth out of Kanan and my final predictions for this is Kanan is going to continue to say I don't know what you're talking about I don't know I mean maybe Buck 20 and D Wiz had some issues together but I didn't know anything about it I just don't see Kanan really telling her the truth about what all happened. Maybe he lets her in a little bit, but maybe he does that to get closer to her. We know these two most likely are going to hook up, but I'm going to tell you right now, as I always told you, when she finds out, the question is, what will she do when she finds out the truth? Now, we know based off the trailer that Rock and, of course, Jukebox want to get very close. She looks up to her, 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 her auntie, right? We know that. And... She's going to explain to her auntie that, look, you know, I like girls. I have some girl that I like. Her name is Nicole. Of course, we know Rock's going to tell her about Tiffany. Um, and they will bond with that type of, you know, conversation. A conversation that she can never have with her pops. But other than that, your girl Jukebox 
is going to be hitting a lick. We know this just based off this image alone. And we saw this in one of the preview trailers a while back. But it seems like Jukebox and her, her partner, you know, the one she was out there selling them coats and jackets with, right? Are going to probably try to hit a lick to try to get some more clothes. That's just my prediction. Maybe they were trying to rob this dude to get some clothes to sell. But it has to be some type of, you know, reasoning why this dude is knocked out. And why Jukebox and her dude is pretty much looking like they are doing a, a stick up. So we're going to find out. Your girl Jukebox is about to get her hands dirty in this next episode. She boosting clothes and stuff like that. So prepare for her to continue to get that money. Which she's supposed to be using for her studio time and to, of course uplift her music career which at the time that is something that she really is looking forward to do so we shall see with you box man now detective burt she's going to start to realize just how sick and insane detective how it really is uh, we just know this based off the trailer um, the dude is losing it someone has pissed him off we know it's a car crash and that he's going to be very close to this this dude is pretty much going to be letting this new girl know look i'm the truth right here people listen to me I'm the top dog, and I got a feeling whatever Lulu and your girl uh, Rock is going to do is going to affect Detective Howard because he wants Unique to be at the top. He wants Unique to win, but whatever um, they're going to do to crush the competition may affect him, right? Because we know that based off the last episode. Well, we're going to see how that's going to affect him. This dude will be losing it. As I told you guys at the beginning of the video, I don't believe Unique is going to have the best episode and I don't think Detective Howard will. But Detective Howard will let his frustrations out. Trust me. They will be let out. Because he's going to be very pissed off. Just based off that crash alone. And what's going to be going on in the episode. Now episode 3 will be airing tonight. I can't wait. Like I told you guys. You let me know your final predictions down below. Leave them all down there. Um, you know. Also check out the video that I told you to check out. About Power Book 2 Ghosts. The exclusive picks that came out check that out let me know what you think about those as well if you have not seen them but i want to thank you guys for all the love all the support you've been giving me for this series man we on episode three it's about to go down man stick and move oh yeah your girl and jukebox is a definitely about to be sticking and moving but hopefully she does not make any mistakes along the way but we know it's always something it's always something left behind hopefully jukebox can ease up out of this i got a feeling we're gonna see how dirty jukebox can really get i can't wait man but um thank you guys once again for all the love all the support i will catch y'all tonight for the quick thoughts early impressions video but let me go on out of here man it's your boy mark dark i'm out peace